Shortly, it is almost 45 years to the day since the world was plunged into the last global crisis. While the blockade of Taiwan is a particularly provocative piece of brinksmanship on the part of the Chinese, defense analysts think it highly unlikely that national pride will make them want to take the world to the brink. Would your country really put the world at risk by breaking this blockade? Ma'am, there are two realities here. The State Department would like to continue to ease the Chinese on the world community. Politicians, however, face re-elections. And the mood of the American electorate is very strongly pro-Taiwan. So, you're saying... What I'm saying is... Chances of something going seriously wrong are higher than I would like to see. Them. The hotline established between myself and the Chinese president, Mr. Lee Wan, is in constant use. We are absolutely on top of this situation. Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President! Yeah, yeah. Surely one of you has got to back down. Well, there's room enough for give and take on both sides. Thank you all now very much. Can you give the world an absolute guarantee that the current crisis will not escalate to a dangerous level? That is all the president has time for this afternoon. I'm sorry. Soon, Chief. We've been 200 sir. feet under for weeks now, sir. If the radiation's dropped, we want to know about it. Soon. Hey, still got the rubber sheet on? Yeah, right, when? Sir. Soon. Soon. I'm watching you, Giles, quit playing solid there. I'm watching you 24 hours. Sonar buoy away, sir. Time up to the surface. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Surface, sir. Give me a reading, please, and patch it into the computer. Yes, sir. Patch it in. Patched in, sir. And the reading is. It's 23 rats and stables! <laughs> Trade winds must have kept radiation up there in the northern hemisphere as we had hoped. So you just break out the sunblock. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there's three things I gotta warn you about down here in Australia. They got a funnel web spider down there, kill you in 60 seconds. They got a tight band snake, kill you in 20 seconds. And I hear that beaver down on Chapel Street. <laughs> <laughs> Service. You make radio contact with Singapore, New Delhi, Rio, Auckland. Give me anything you got. Yes, sir. Let's find out what the hell is going on down here.
Are you still there? Gotta say, Captain, I wasn't nearly as optimistic as you were we'd make it. I wouldn't have bet on it. Oh, we had to make it, sir. We're the good guys. And down there is what's left of America. Yeah, and they might have a future. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Not for long, sir. There's been a 70% radiation spillage factor at high altitudes across the equator. It's coming south. I caught the radio operator in Singapore before she went home to die. How fast? How fast are moving down? Uh, no, precisely. It depends on the wind pattern. Give you an estimate. According to Australian Naval Command in Melbourne, a matter of months, sir. Well, I can't tell him now, can I? Admiral Cunningham, staying chief of staff at Lakes in Melbourne as soon as possible, sir. He wants us to pick some guy up off an island, get him down there pronto. 